by LL's first ever undefeated season. They're now looking to repeat history by defending the world championship tomorrow night. It's a rematch of last year's title game as the Bandits host the Gate Brothers and the Philadelphia Wings. Brenda Brennan has the preview. Pressure. What pressure? The Buffalo Bandits are cruising on a 17-game win streak heading into tomorrow night's championship game. Every team in the league has taken aim at the defending champs, and people expect Buffalo to win. That's the difference a year makes. Last year, I think we went into the championship game uh, under a lot less pressure. We started the season brand new, and we had a lot of good luck last year, especially after losing our first three. And we weren't, we didn't put a lot of big pressure on ourselves to win. On I don't think anybody did. They didn't know what to expect. So we were fortunate enough to uh, win a tight one last year in Philadelphia. Now the biggest difference between this year and last year is that this time around the championship game will be played right here in Buffalo. The game's been sold off for quite some time already, and the Bandits are hoping the Buffalo fans will give them a boost. I just think back to the championship game last year that we played in Philadelphia, and uh, I I'm sure that uh, the first four or five goals of that game were, were due to that crowd that was in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, our crowd will do the same for us this Saturday night. They'll put four or five in their net right off the start. The fans deserve this more than we do, and uh, they've supported us right from the, the first face-off here last year. And uh, last year, uh, it was unfortunate that we had to play in the road, but we didn't, did win the thing. And uh, we really want to do it for them more than anything. Keenan was the MVP in last week's playoff game against Boston and in the regular season finale, too. He's one of the players the Bandits are counting on to come up big to fill in for the injured Brian Hall, who has torn ankle ligaments, and John Tavares, who will only play sparingly on Saturday because of a hamstring injury. And Tavares won't be playing at full capacity, either. Right now, it's about, I'd say, 70%. Hopefully, it'll be... Hopefully it improve about 10% for the game. Now the fact that Tavares is playing at all is a bonus. He's the guy that scored the overtime game-winning goal in last year's championship game at Philadelphia. Brenda Brennan, Eyewitness Sports. And the bandits lead this life. You gave us a try, now hit subscribe. Be sure to YouTube responsibly and hit that like button if you like what you see, because there's plenty of content to come.